Um, let's see this one. Tomorrow, a mother will bury two of her children, one 14 years old, the other six. Last week, six-year-old Elena Ross was shot and killed at an East Dallas townhome. The girl's mother was already making funeral preparations for her teenage son, who was also shot and killed. Fox 4's Amelia Jones. <laughs> Damn. Jesus Christ. A big bowl of sand. Jesus Christ, my G. But I mean, we that it seems like the first time that we hear this. We hear this a lot. Man, we did a 93-year-old woman got shot by some thugs after a disagreement yesterday, man. Damn, she was abs. We got to check in on that story, too. I got to go back to Memphis to see if they caught them guys. A disagreement over her giving her shit up. <laughs> yeah, man. Jesus Damn. Christ. I mean, and this woman, like her... This woman who's who this mother, my God. Tomorrow, a mother will bury two of her children, one 14 years old, the other six. Last week, six-year-old Elena Ross was shot and killed at an East Dallas townhome. The girl's mother was already making funeral preparations for her teenage son, who was also shot and killed. Fox 4's Amelia Jones spoke with the grieving mother and joins us now from Dallas. Amelia. Heather, Dallas police still haven't said how they believe a six-year-old Elena Ross was shot. The girl's mother told me today she's frustrated with the lack of answers. I love pictures and videos and, you know, that's, that was something that I love because me. Yo. And these women are strong. This is what they mean when they say strong black woman. <laughs> a strong black woman. <laughs> God, dog. Jesus Christ, man. I love pictures and videos and, you know, that's, that was something that I love because memories is everything. Memories are all that Brittany Ross has left of her daughter and son. The two were killed in separate shootings almost two weeks apart. My. <laughs> But I'm saying though, I mean, this is. I, I'm saying that this is not like uncommon. We've heard that same line a lot. Remember, yeah. remember the once. Remember the one sister that said, "I lost two of my kids. I guess I only got one." Now, like damn, sister, like take it easy. This shit is insane. A little fourteen year old, I think some little kid got shot up over here on this block the other day, man. They had the whole block blocked off, man. And I was like, I didn't know what had happened until later because I didn't go up there and like see the, I didn't hear any shots, but and it was snowing, like it was snowing like crazy. And there was still a shooting right outside, it, right out here. I mean, it was snowing like shit, like it snowed for 24 straight hours. Um, And it's like, Sons, yo, they just, they just, this is just what they do. They shouldn't have been given guns, man. Giving sons guns was like, literally, like, it's like giving a monkey a gun. I mean, it's no different. Just, it, it, a monkey is just going to take the thing, he's going to shoot himself or fire it off into aimlessly or accidentally shoot it, it's like giving a, you know, a toddler sharp scissors. You know, they're going to fuck themselves up, you know? If, yeah, but it's different, though, because the gun, you can fuck somebody else up. Yeah, That's yeah, for sure. How fire says, so God couldn't save their son, but he could catch the shooter. It is an interesting these people were shooting. Yeah. Mm. Talking about the previous story. Yeah, yeah. God, God, God is like shit. Don't look at me. Right. I man. can't help you. This woman, this mother. I mean, think about it. who, 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 who says who, who? 
Like, who can say something to this woman? I mean, like, I bet people are probably looking at her like a ghost, man. I know. I mean, it, it's it's got to be a different level if you know her intimately, right? Like, if you're, you know, her brother, her parent, her cousin, it, it hits like, different. Yeah, you get sure. to call, it's, like, it's like you get to call, um, yeah, you know, um, Don Terry as well, the older one, is he, he got killed. And it's like, oh my God. And then you whole family yeah. shaking up about it. And then like a week later, she called you back, like, yeah. And then now um Dejanae or whatever the daughter's name is, she got shot. And you're like, yeah. man, stop playing, man. Don't play with me. This is not funny. Yeah. It's nothing to joke about. And she's like, no, I'm serious. And you're like, what? Yeah. What? I, I will give the liberals that, or you know, I will give Blackistan that. I, the trauma is has to be incredible. Has to be insane, man. It's insane. I love pictures and videos, and you know, that's that was something that I love because memories is everything. Memories are all that Brittany Ross has left of her daughter and son. The two were killed in separate shootings almost two weeks apart. My kids did not deserve it at all. On December 29th, Ross says her son, 14-year-old Braylon Ryder, went over to a friend's house on Harry Hines Boulevard in Oaklawn. Dallas police say a 16-year-old boy shot Ryder and another 14-year-old. The boy came in the range, and I'm sure Braylon probably tried to stand up. He shot him in his head with no hesitation. Ryder died, and the other boy survived. The 16-year-old was arrested and charged with manslaughter. <laughs> manslaughter. The 16-year-old was arrested and charged with manslaughter. And they didn't say he was charged as an adult either. So he'll be home in a few years. Damn. Fuck. Uh, with no hesitation. Ryder died and the other boy survived. The 16-year-old was arrested and charged with manslaughter. <laughs> Twelve days later, on January 10th, Ross was at the funeral home planning her son's services when she got a call from one of her other kids. As soon as I answered the FaceTime, my 11-year-old daughter, she screamed through the phone, Mama Lena shot herself in the head. Dallas police have... Oh, my God. That's terrible, man. Like, that's a tragedy right there. I don't believe that, man. I don't believe that's what happened. Hold on, let me see. This is this is it. Yo. This is a, this is a nightmare, man. Ross was at the funeral home planning her son's services when she got a call from one of her other kids. As soon as I answered the FaceTime, my 11-year-old daughter she screamed through the phone. Mama Elena shot herself in the head. Dallas police have not confirmed how six-year-old Elena Ross was shot. They say when officers got to the townhome on North Fitzhugh Avenue, they found an unsecured handgun. Question 19 year old Demaria Sowles as a witness to the sh Oh my God. He was playing with the gun and he shot the little girl. That's what happened. Let's stop the bullshit. Well, he accidentally shot the little girl. That little girl ain't shoot her fucking self in the head. The little girl ain't. Come on, man. This nigga's in your house. Yo, man, this is insane, man. These people are... Jesus Christ. Officers got to the townhome on North Fitzhugh Avenue. They found an unsecured handgun. Question 19-year-old Demaria Sowles as a witness to the shooting. According to police documents, Sowles admitted to placing a handgun on top of the PlayStation in the bedroom on the third floor. After the shooting, investigators say he took the gun, put it in a backpack along with a second gun, and hid it in the garage of the home. Ross <laughs> oh, he's a fucking liar. Well, I either way, you know, at least he talked. Yeah, and he was home with her 11-year-old daughter. This guy who's not, he's not one of her kids because they would have said it, is home with her 11-year-old daughter and her six-year-old daughter. Wow. And he's got two guns. 
This guy and his two guns were home alone with her 11-year-old daughter and her 6-year-old daughter a week in, a week or two after her other son was murdered or manslaughtered. <laughs> These are different people, man. These people are different, man. Make sure you hit the like button, man. You hit this nowhere else, man. We trying to, we, we, we trying to, trying to understand a little bit, man. We know we can't fix it. We're not trying to fix it. Just trying to understand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's crazier. I, the state of affairs or the people that refuse to acknowledge the state of affairs, the state of the stand, you know? Right, like every day is year or day I, zero. I agree. Like they, uh, they're wicked, my bad. Yeah, the problem, the ignorance is worse than like anything else. I, I mean, yeah. If I if I bring this if I bring this shit to one of these people, one of these people in denial, I they look at me like they'll literally look at me like, well, what about the burritos? What about X, Y, and Z? Stop it! Don't do that. Yeah, the the length they go to to actively ignore it or deflect from it is incredible. Right. If, if the if the fishermen were to be the one to present it, they'd be like, "Well, what about the what about the incest? And what about it? like shut the fuck up? What about let's have all have a seat, take a fucking let's pour some fucking cocoa and some tea. Take a seat right over there. Let's let's fucking let's let's address let's look at the issue don't close your fucking eyes look at it the inability to address it in a vacuum is is probably the most difficult part like you were just saying it's always a deflection yeah it's it's, it's mind-boggling that that guy was in her home with her 11 year old daughter and her six year old daughter with two guns that he's just cavalierly just leaving around on top of PlayStations. What does that tattoo say on his neck? Fear? Fear no one or some shit like that? None, I think. It's probably some yeah. stupid shit anyway, no matter what it says. But yeah. we'll, I, I, I'm a huge fan of the one that's, you know, blessed. <laughs> the prayer hands. <laughs> It's always the one. It's always the same. Like I don't know where the fuck did they all got it from, but they all got the same blessed tattoo. It's like what the fuck? I love pictures and videos, and you know that's that was something that I love because memories is everything. Memories are all that Brittany Ross has left of her daughter and son. The two were killed in separate shootings, almost two weeks apart. My kids did not deserve it at all. On December 29th, Ross says her son, 14-year-old Braylon Ryder, went over to a friend's house on Harry Hines Boulevard in Oakland. Dallas police say a 16-year-old boy shot Ryder and another 14-year-old. The boy came in the range, and I'm sure Braylon probably tried to stand up. You shot him in his head with no hesitation. Ryder died, and the other boy survived. The 16-year-old was arrested and charged with manslaughter. <laughs> Twelve days later, on January 10th, Ross was at the funeral home planning her son's services when she got a call from one of her other kids. As soon as I answered the FaceTime, my 11-year-old daughter, she screamed through the phone, Mama Elena shot herself in the head. Dallas police have not confirmed how six-year-old Elena Ross was shot. They say when officers got to the townhome on North Fitzhugh Avenue, they found an unsecured handgun. Question 19-year-old Demaria Sowles as a witness to the shooting. According to police documents, Sowles admitted to placing a handgun on top of the PlayStation in the bedroom on the third floor. After the shooting, investigators say he took the gun, put it in a backpack along with a second gun, and hid it in the garage of the home. Ross says Sowles is friends with her 18-year-old son. Her other kids, an 8-year-old... Oh, so she got an 18-year-old son that that guy's friends with. Okay, so that explains why he was there. So she got, she got two kids, at least two, two, the 11 year old, the 18 year old are still there. The 14 year old and the six year old are, are dead. Remember the uh, proximity. Remember what Fabian said about that? What? 
how um it's it's kind of like a form of like an organic um population control. I forget how he described it, but do you remember that? Because it's yeah, incredible, we need, man. We need Fabian to come back up here, man. And explain this. <laughs> Sal's admitted to yeah. placing a handgun on top of the PlayStation in the bedroom on the third floor. After the shooting, investigators say he took the gun, put it in a backpack along with a second gun, and hid it in the garage of the home. Ross says Sal is friends with her 18-year-old son. Her other kids, an 8-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter, were also in the house when the shooting happened. It's very so she has an 8-year-old son? There's a whole and squad in there. Hold There's on. a whole squad in there. And an 11-year-old daughter were also in the Hold house. Well, so that theory can't be true. Son. Because they just keep, ha you know, there, there's so many. Uh, so there is no population control. But, but that's the whole point, though, dude. Um, there's so many, but as a result of that, it, like, they naturally will take themselves out kind of deal, you know? Because if it wasn't for uh, Where nature won't do it, the gun Well, that will. is nature, but it is nature. Like, it's their nature to control population. Because like you said, there's a lot of them, right? Right, so but it's a, like, there's there's like a weird perverse incentive where we um, subsidize it all. So something's going haywire where it yeah. the actual natural but situation. Abortions. But that aside abortions. though, but but that aside though, even if that it wasn't um like you said subsidized, that's beside the point. It would be done in the savannah, or right. in Detroit. <laughs> oh no, no, I understand that uh, the the nature of it all, but the the introduction to of foreign, um, I guess modernity. Uh, perverts the whole situation. Well, no, listen, what happens is you guys medicine and you guys oh, no, that's what I mean. Army techniques and you guys um, you know, just society, quality of life allows the, uh, the, these populations to explode. Well, that's what I'm saying, uh, Ak, is it's, it's a perverse incentive. It's an economic idea, but it uh, applies to human beings. And those but things the, can be removed. Right, right. But Saying we make it worse. Took the gun, I understand. Put it in a backpack along with a second gun and hid it in the garage of the home. Ross says Sal is friends with her 18 year old son. Her other kids, an eight year old son and 11 year old daughter, were also in the house when the shooting happened. So she's got an eight year old, an 11 year old, and an 18 year old that are still alive. And she's lost. So in the last week, she's lost two of her five kids. And but so that's more than the two and a half kids of a, a typical nuclear family. Yeah. It, Net, anyway. Well, knock wood. And, and look at the house she has. I mean, she's got this is this is like, look, she's got a I'm sure this is section eight or some kind of voucher program and shit like that. I'm not trying to say she's like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but still, she's living, this is a, this is nice. This is a nice structure she lives in. Um, she, she's, yeah, you guys are kind of subsidizing this stuff, man, yeah. Um, man. And an 11-year-old daughter were also in the house when the shooting happened. It's very heartbreaking uh, to go on when you have six kids and live with four within two. Wait. So she has six all together, and this is very heartbreaking. This is very heartbreaking. The understate, the war for understatement of the year goes to Shaniqua here, man. God, dog. So in the house when the shooting happened. It's very heartbreaking. Um, to go on when you have six kids and live with four within a two weeks grace period of time. It's just, it's very hard, but I'm trying to stay strong for my other kids. Sal Jesus Christ. Um, Hot Fire says, it's official. Sons are cursed. This is literally every day in the Sun community. Yes. I fixed my situation by leaving the community in my rear view. Stop worshiping a God that allows this. I'm God now. I make my own destiny. Well, you're, you're I mean, off on that part, but good stuff. 
next time you're in a foxhole, man, that's that is uh I promise you you'll find God. But I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying to some degree. Um I can't you know what I can't be mad at a guy for this one. This is a tough one. I mean, even God is like fucking damn, I tried everything. Yeah, Gabriel House and shit. Yeah, they they got God, God is like, look, I turned water into wine, all right? But this is too much. Uh, I gave her a house. She got six children. They probably buy several different men. Um they all uh, like that. She lives in the greatest country in the world. She never Turned the faucet and water didn't come out. She never touched the light switch and the lights didn't come on. Um, if she if she's late on her rent, she's got a fucking uh, rental program that'll fucking pay her rent. If she can't buy groceries for the kids, there's a program that bring kids groceries, clothes. She got parachutes and safety nets all right. around her. And I give her if. If the water didn't come out, if the lights don't turn on, if the rent ain't paid, it's the gliders' fault because the gliders, there's a history, yada yada. Never mind the fact mm -hmm. that it's because of the gliders that, you know, she's blessed with all of that shit. Yeah. Let's be honest, that's what it is. Yeah, man. All right. Very hard, but I'm trying to stay strong for my other kids. Sal's was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence. Ross wants to know the truth about what happened that day. So she's lost two kids, right? One one kid that was shot in the head in a drive-by. His killer's being charged with manslaughter as a juvenile. The other kid, who I think this kid did, I don't believe that little girl shot herself in the head. This kid, he's being charged with tampering with evidence. You got two dead kids and a manslaughter as a juvenile charge and a tampering with evidence charge. Wow. Criminal justice reform, man. Some kind of hatchet. Tampering with evidence. Ross wants to know the truth about what happened that day. Because I need answers. Like, I need answers. A mother's strength to fight for her children. It gives me chills down my spine thinking about it and keep their memory alive. I'm not giving up. I won't give up. Well, is it the, the, the guy, your, your son's friend? How can you not get answers? Oh, yeah, because your son probably ain't cooperating. That her son is probably not cooperating. He finna stand on business. Exactly. What a straight, yo, different, that's different. Like, these people are different, man. They're off the chart. Uh, they, there's, there's no other group like them. I mean, I don't care what you say. If you want to talk about white and a white and a black world, fucking Patels aren't like this. Fucking old Rios ain't like this. Goddamn prayer Patels and fucking Pacquiao's. Nobody's like this. Gives me chills down my spine thinking about it. And keep their memory alive. I'm not giving up. I won't give up. The funeral for Braylon and Elena will be held tomorrow. Sal's is still being held at the Dallas County Jail. In addition to tampering with evidence, he also has several outstanding warrants, including two for evading arrest, detention, and one for unlawful carry of a weapon. Right now, there are no charges in connection to Elena's death. What you what, what that tiger doing? I wonder what that tiger doing. The mugshot. Hmm. I don't know. It was like a female tiger mugshot. It looked like. Oh, uh, we'll see. I joined late. Did you do the Somali fight already in Minneapolis? What Somali fight? The app. Uh, there was. It was on Twitter. There was, um, I guess you would call them ADOS versus Somalis. There was a fight in the parking lot. 
It was Minneapolis. Did you guys today? see this? Today or yesterday? Today? Uh-huh. All right, we'll get to that. We'll do Minneapolis next. If I can find it, uh, I'll put yeah. it in the back. Chat. Fort Worth police say. Yeah, put it in the back chat, man. Um, let's see this, man. Dallas, man. That was, that, was, that was crazy. Fort Worth police say a naked man beat a delivery driver to death in front of a home while that driver was delivering firewood. 27-year-old Chrysanis Omande is in jail, <laughs> charged with murder. Police say after the brutal attack, he threatened a second person. Fox Horse Peyton Yeager spoke to the victim's family and man, she- Man, he would've got she, mixed, man. He would've been walking around looking like Stevie Wonder, man. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, want, I wonder if he's one of, uh, one of the illegals here. Maybe so, man. All I say is if you know you're going to encounter sons and you don't even have a fucking keep a nigga off me, Blade. Buckle up. I just don't man. understand how people, like, because sons don't leave the house with, like, 